Number 10 from Lavia CF. He is the Japanese prodigy. Seitoshi. Number 2 from Uber's Delivery Eats. Where you have to order good eats. Don Lorenzo. So first in this evaluation of new gen strikers, we need to go into their physicals. Starting first with Itoshi Sei. Now in terms of strength, Itoshi Sei doesn't really get to showcase his strength much. But the times he does, it's against Ren primarily as he just handles him very well in a clash of who can keep the ball. Oh, and he just uses his dribbling to also acute with his strength and wins the no chance where I would say was putting no effort. And in order to be a good striker, you also need to have like good shot power and say shot power and pass power is insane and very accurately controlled. So he is one of the best when it comes to shot power and pass power capabilities. So you got to give it to him, man. The only strength I believe was shown by Lorenzo, I don't remember the match, I probably have to reread it again, is the fact that he tanked a Kaiser impact ball. That was his greatest feat. Even if he did show any feats other than that, it wouldn't have been as strong compared to this. So I have to give this one to Say. Now we're going to go into Sei Itoshi's jumping feat, which is his probably worst feat as he has only shown one insane jumping feat and that was when he caught the rebound from Rin's attack as he was nearly at I Isagi's head. But that is not a great feat because Isagi is only 170 and he's 180. Now Lorenzo is 190 CM, he has jumps to make multiple defending headers and he's just way taller and way more um has way longer limbs than say to even do a jumping kick and all that so i believe he would win in this category for sure now say must have an insane endurance to be able to use metavision to some degree and to play 90 minutes the whole game to be nearly everywhere on the pitch making the right decisions depending on the play that was going to happen and depending on the situation now for my next opponent, he cannot stay the same otherwise as he does not have meta vision to keep under check, nor does he have a feat where he played a whole 90 minutes, so we can never see how he would last the 90 minutes until the U20 World Cup. And also the fact that it's not going to be great if he has to play multiple positions. Despite never getting tired, he has never played 90 minutes, so this one is going to go to Itoshi Say. Next is speed. If we want to talk about speed with the ball, Say has to be one of the fastest. The way he dribbles insanely fast, the way he just always makes the fastest passes in the world and the fastest shots, second to only Kaiser, as we've seen, probably more, but like he has one of the fastest shots. And then we also have to talk about the fact that the way he moved to stop Isagi on that final play before Isagi could score and then he had to pass it to win but Bao scored. That was insanely fast. And he just always gets to the positions he needs to be thanks to Metavision. So he doesn't really need to flex his speed but if he's almost as fast as Win and Win is pretty fast, he should be really good at when it comes to speed. Now his greatest flexes have to be when he's transitioned from Kaiser to Isagi on the play where Kaiser did get to score. Isagi was shocked at how he already got there. And the other play would have to be when he dribbled all the way through Bastard Munchen's whole team to pass it to Bao before Isagi stole it. But it's not enough to compare to Say as I gave this one to Say. Now we need to talk about their weapons and abilities. First, let's go into Sei Itoshi. Now, Sei has a great arsenal of weapons, which is all handled by his meta vision, which is a peripheral vision that allows him to have a 3D vision of the field and understand everything that's happening, understand every player's motives and abilities, and to conquer plans to destroy all of them. I'm not the best at explaining it. Go watch out Law Truth if you really want an in-depth explanation on it. But here we go. He, his meta vision allows him to have insane playmaking abilities as he is the perfect playmaker in blue lock as of this moment. He also has a huge ass set of nutmegs as he has the Robona nutmeg, the normal nutmeg, the cross elastigo nutmeg, 
and I'm missing one which was simply just a normal elastical nutmeg the one he did against win when he just returned from Spain this meta vision allows him to make ultra fast passes with a shorter fast to make the best plays possible and he also has a different type of dribbling compared to Bachua, Yukimiya and the rest which is when they dribble, they just dribble to just destroy the defense and counteract without thinking. His is taking in the situation, reading the defender's body movements, and finding a way to just destroy them. As in a play where he was passing it to Cho and the other attacker, he passed it through Karasu and Yukimiya's heads. Bro was a menace for that. And when he wanted to get through Isagi and Bachua, he just dribbled through with a, like a holding spin through. I don't even know what to call that. Like that was insane. Like Say's dribbling is actually really insane. And he has hyper speed scissors techniques, which is what he was using against Ren and when he just destroyed everyone in the U20 team. Sorry, the Blue Lock team. Now the last thing I'll glaze over Say Toshi is is actually a defensive skill he has and probably his best one, which is his shoulder block. It always keeps the ball away from his enemies and he can use this to direct people off their shot just like he, how he did against Isagi. Now Lorenzo's ace eater ability is insane as it allows him to completely lock down the opponent he has. Whoever he dead sets targets, it he will lock them down for nearly the whole game. Except if there's a danger spot like let's say when Isagi was about to score and Lorenzo had to pull up and stop that for a split second but that ultimately cost him as Kaiser did score but moments like that is the only time Lorenzo will leave you out of lockdown. Now his other ability is called zombie dribbling which allows him to just dribble past the whole field and leave after images of himself through the whole field. Now let's have a little 1v1 between Say and Lorenzo and for this one in terms of offense it goes to say as say is probably still one of the best strikers in the world even though he is aiming to be the one of the best midfield the the best midfielder in the world but he gave that up he's still trying to do it so in terms of offense he must have like an s tier 90 something rating like probably high 95 and over shooting ability but in terms of Lorenzo, his best offensive stats is like 82 and 84 in terms of the stat book. So that leaves defense. Can Lorenzo stop Say? Absolutely. He has a 99 on defense. He is a bigger person and he's had experience for defending for years. He is the ace eater for a reason. And the problem is Say has metavision. So Say shouldn't have insane defense, but he should be able to know when to stop and how to stop Lorenzo because Metavision always gets him to the best points to get the best advantages to win a game easily. So there is one problem and this is Say's flaw on why he would lose a 1v1. Unless his life was on the line or something really important with the matter of life or death, he is not winning because he simply would not care, unlike Lorenzo who would actually take it seriously. So in a 1v1 that is for friendly or not for life and death, I would see Say not really trying, so I would see Lorenzo taking it in a very high difficulty because even though he would win, it would because, be because Say's defense is not as great as his defense. As Lorenzo would probably be able to stop Say, but Say would have a harder time stopping Lorenzo if you get what I mean leading to Lorenzo taking the lead of 1-0 in this fatal battle. Next we have to observe team play and oh boy this is gonna be a good one. Now let's switch things up, let's talk about Lorenzo first this time. For Lorenzo he is a catalyst of ace eating. He primarily targets the striker or whoever is the best um, valued person in the team. It may not even be the best player, just the person with the best value on the team. And the only time he would dare focus on someone other than him on defense is when th there's a potential threat of someone scoring. But he will also transition from CDM to like an attacking role where he would try to like set up the striker. So he can play midfield, but it would be like a defensive midfield trying to set up a striker. So how does this impact the team play? 
in terms of the defense it strengthens it as if the team in, um, works together they will be unstoppable when he's on midfield he is also good because he can always set up the attacking play because of his zombie dribbling which would allow everyone to focus on him but let's get into say now say is a person who is a demon when it comes to the midfield he is honestly one of the best playmakers in blue lock probably the best playmaker we've been introduced to so far maybe charles might be able to stop him but too early to tell anyway in terms of his feats he can strike he can score when needed to he can get on defense to stop critical plays when needed to and can control the midfield and making plays for everyone when needed to as well lorenzo cannot strike when needed to unlike say so that's one plus say has over him and the next plus say would have over him which which is why i'm going to give him the win is because he won't just target a player he will target anything that will get him a potential part of the win if he sees a play that will make the team benefit from it it will do it and he's also a good mm, talker he will motivate the team in his devilish ways he will fire them up he will talk trash to them until they get fired up just like the u20 team did fire, get fired up and start trying their hardest and playing like harder before he made plays that were out of this world he makes plays better he made shido reach a new level of football he made sendo play defense he made iq enter his flow and try to become a striker again he will make the best plays and make everyone just a better person which is why in terms of a team he excels compared to lorenzo lorenzo just fends for taking down people for himself he wouldn't make the team better the only other person he would make better is the striker because they would be able to feed off goals from his assist but that's about it it's just him so that's why lorenzo has to lose this point to say to finish this off once and for all who would actually be chosen by a coach to a team now it depends on the position you need to be filled if you have a very good team with only the center back lacking for defense you would definitely choose don lorenzo if you're choosing for someone to be a striker or a midfielder you definitely choose say but overall who would need be necessary in any if the best or the worst teams of all time like who would be deemed necessary despite their position and this one has to go to say because sorry lorenzo i as a coach wouldn't want a team to lose you will only benefit teams that only lack in defense if they lack in the fact that they have any missing spots you will not be able to take over as well as you think you would buddy and another thing is if the opponents have two aces really good like how isagi scored the first and the last goal you're not going to be able to stop them because you're going to be locked in on one ace so despite the fact that you do destroy one striker if there is another person who could potentially destroy your team as nearly as good as the striker or better than the ace buddy you're done like if you have two or even more insane players on the same team destroying your defense you're not surviving lorenzo but with say he makes the whole team better he makes everyone rile up he will make everyone fight he can control the midfield he will always get the pass give the best passes as he always serves the strikers who are in the most heated positions to score he can also detect when a person is about to destroy their defense and peacefully and beautifully destroy them as he perfectly picked out how isagi works and ticks he destroyed ren he destroyed all of the blue lockers he just knows how to work his midfield to pass when to shoot he just knows when to do everything and having meta vision the best eye in blue lock except for go hunter is a huge plus as he knows how to control the whole field so him having meta vision and lorenzo not having meta vision is a huge plus so the winner of today's video and 50 sub special is itoshi say thank you all so so much for 50 subscribers it really means a lot 
and i'm going to be doing my best to continue publishing more content in 2024 hope you all have a very merry christmas and peace out thank you for watching